Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the Azathan. And I'm back to bring you the Enchanted Edition of the Blood Elves Campaign. Rise of the Blood Elves, ladies and gentlemen, you're already going to notice some significant improvements. Look at what is going on here. Oh my goodness, this new interface is absolutely beautiful. I don't know who came up with it, but there's been adjusted storytelling and scripting and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and start playing through this just as we did the last time. I don't want to rob anyone of any kind of an experience, so we're going to try to play as smartly as I did the first time. And you'll actually get to see the route that I took the first time, which is going to be a little slow. And I'll just throw this all up as one episode and then move right into the second so you guys don't have to miss anything. All right, first off, we've got Fork Lightning and Flame Strike. They just picked them for me right off the bat. Arcane Torrent stops all enemies in the area from casting spells for 10 seconds. Wow, that suddenly makes sorceresses unbelievably useful. They added a few spells to other units, a few different uh, things like this Arcane Affinity to the Blood Elves. Oh, man, to 80%. Or by 80%? Oh, okay. I was like, that's a. That seems like a bit much, laddie. Ooh, actually, that's who I want in this group as well. Uh, I'll take you. And actually, the Naga have a surprisingly quick, at least the Naga Mermin does, a surprisingly quick regen on his health. So we'll use him up front. And charge into combat! Combat the likes of which we haven't seen in, in 1765 since then. We're going to take this, and again, this has been adjusted, so it's actually completely different in certain places. Uh, we're not going to, oh, it looks like we're already very much not going to see what we saw the first time. The map's been redone. At least to an extent here. Nagamurman still has a, well, he's not quite as tanky as a, ah, oh, that's right, we completely forgot that we'd, let's go ahead and put Frost Armor on him while we deal with this guy in the back end. Plenty of units up front to hit with that ability. Oh, but the hero comes in. Son of a bitch! I want to lock him in place and pretend like he's not really my father. Now, uh, did I let the real one through? I did! Oh, I let the real one through! What was I thinking? Oh, Sparky, no. Sparky, poor Sparky. These watery minions proving to be a very effective tank line there. And, of course, absolutely, that frost armor. Super effective in slowing him down. Spider silk webs an air unit. Well, Vosh, you silly spider-looking girl. You look like the kind of girl who'd like to web an air unit. If you know what I mean. <gasps> a lava spawn. <gasps> All my dreams have been answered. He's purely offensive now. No, I've always thought Kale was always very offensive. Oh, dear God. I think we've... We've pushed our boundary bits just a little bit here. We're going to hope he gets out of there. Do we have a dispel? We should have a dispel. Let's go ahead and trade these units out for a new batch of units. One, two, one. Oh, actually, we'll leave the priest there to do the healing. Why not? That makes perfect sense. With that mana, he's going to be just fine. All right, let's go ahead and move out with this smaller group here. Any abilities on these? Nope, we're going to be relying purely on just... Uh, the stick to and our fro oh, frost arrows too. Let's see if we can lure this fella in here. He looks like the kind of guy who'd like to pick a fight, leave his friends, go into the dark woods with a strange man he doesn't know and have a good time. Yeah, I knew it. Kinky bastard. Just sitting there waiting to die. Alright. No! Get away from here, you fellow warlock bastard. I don't have time for you. Murgol Reaver, let's see. His health regen actually very respectable as well. Ah, ah, oh man, they... Put the frenzy on that orc, and he went to town on my buddy. Let's go ahead and have him sit back there. Let's go have him ha hang out with the priest, actually. And Murgal Warrior, probably, as well. Gonna go ahead and hang out with that priest. Is anyone else feeling completely healed? Oh, look at that. The priest has done his job, and we can bring back our units to the front line. A smaller, slightly larger force now. We'll collect this... This poor elven swordsman, he's like, hey, brothers, I've been waiting for you, are you here to save me? See, this looks like the same base, except, I don't know, it's been, these two paths, like, this path got taken away, I guess. I guess it's sort of the same, except just one path. Don't look, don't look at me, don't look me in the eye, okay? It's embarrassing enough as it is. And I never did go check up there last time. Or, no, it actually has been altered a little bit more than I thought. Oh, what? if he's going to be taking piercing damage, perhaps he should be taking piercing damage the proper way. 
Hopefully we can get enough damage in there to stop that before it kills him completely. There we go. Perfectly tanky little bastard. Lady Vash, stop saying he Oh, it only has four charges. Damn. I was hoping it would be a permanent thing that you could use every once in a while, like the Dispel Rod or something. As love, it consumes the flesh of its targets, eventually splitting into two healthy... Oh, I love this spell. I love the swarming that you can get done with that spell. It is one of my favorite things in this game. Hands down. More Fork Lightning, please. I do agree. A QWER spell uh, slot system would have worked better, in my opinion. But you can't have everything. And this game is looking like it's already shipping up to be a bit better than it was the first time. And I have... I do have a priest, so he could probably join us. I don't know who the, I, I want Vosh. And did I forget to actually put the other... I didn't put the Murgal Reaver up there either. How very strange of me. How very strange of the game to be behaving like this. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, look. It looks like we're back at 30 FPS. Awesome. Very good. Da, 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 da. I don't know what's... Maybe it's these magical spell effects on these pens. I think... Call me crazy. Maybe that's it. Okay, I killed the pens and... Census says it was not the pens! Went over here, killed these queens of pain that were sitting here, and I managed to get an orb of fire. Slightly different thing than last time, and kind of nice. Also, I could possibly burn flame strike right here and see what's behind these trees as I wanted to last time. And it's... And it's it shall be done. apparently nothing at all. Well, I was hoping for something more exciting than that. Actually, let's burn these last two just in it shall be done. case. No secrets to be found. No, we just stand in our own fiery doom. That's fine. I didn't even want it. Whatever, you jerks. Same bridge, same tower. Oh crap, a little script event here actually coming into play, and hopefully we can save our units here from dying. There's no need for them to die. Let's hopefully kite everything we can to world. Oh no, but we don't want to lose the priests either. Priests are actually very good. Ah, but so are everything here. Let's go ahead and run everything that was being attacked back behind the lines. Try to keep it alive as long as we can. Uh, this little swordsman's getting a little ballsy. Definitely a little ballsy. But we managed to save almost all the units, only losing a single swordsman in that engagement. Very happy about that. As long as... Okay, man, they hit hard. They hit surprisingly hard. I could have been using hero spells, but for some reason, I just simply wasn't. This sounds like Pandaria music, doesn't it? I don't know, it's weird. I, li I like it. I'm not complaining. Okay. Uh, side quest. Save the imprisoned blood elves. Oh, so now there's the dragon in the sky. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. All right, well, hold on now. We got to get all our ranged units together. All right, that's control two. That's all our ranged right there. No, that's there's more of our ranged. And then group one will be heroes and melee, and of course our ever important Naga Merminen, who's going to be dragging them down into melee range. Well, let's go and pull those silly gooses over to us. We've also got lava spirits, so we should be just fine. Oh, oh, shizzles! Kill that elf! Come on, we must help them! Oh my god, yeah, we must help them. I don't think there's any way. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what was I thinking? No spells for you! Illusion! Ow, he got me. Let's go ahead and pull the big black dragon down. It's not because he's black, it's because he's a dragon. I want to make that very clear. Oh wait, hey look, I can use spells. I can use spells on them. Oh sweet goodness. Oh sweet fanciful goodness. Stop making it difficult to kill you, you bastard. There we go, he's finally dead. Look at him. Finally dead in all that. We still have, we now are up to, no, we have... Damn it, I didn't want... Oh, we must have lost a regular priest and then gained an extra priest, huh? Alright, well I'm thinking Kale, probably going to be our tankier hero, so let's go ahead and give him the parapet of vitality. Make him feel like a... Oh, I could have been using her... Of course that's why they gave me the spider silk brooch. Why else would they give me the spider silk brooch? I'm an idiot. 
Oh, ah, there you go, Aslan. Here's an item that should drag air units to the ground. Oh, here you go, Aslan. Here's a side quest where you gotta drag air units to the ground. And I'm like, uh, oh, that is so useful. Thank you. I cannot imagine what I would do without you. I would probably ruse the elf swordsman embarrassingly. All right, there, silenced him. Tired of his nonsense. Man, between slow and cripple, he is screwed. Thank you, Spellbreaker. He probably crippled one of my units and got it cast back on him. Spellbreaker was like, oh, no, you didn't. He's my friend. What are you doing? Man, those three priests are really helping out a lot. Let's go ahead and peek across the bridge, see what's going on over there. Just with Kale hanging out. He's, he's cool. Oh, oh, Kale made some friends. Kale made friends. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's bad. Oh, frame rate fixed itself immediately after I unpaused it. It was so weird. And they just died. They just died horribly. All right, Kale's going to continue to be our scout. Actually, why not just use a lava spawn as a scout, right? He's like, I want to rip the flesh from my enemy's bones so that I can figure out how to... Oh, yeah, let's see. And he's like, let's just go. I'm like, lava spawn, you go ahead and tank all you want, bro. I believe in you. Let's go wake him up. Wake him up. There you go. Lava spawn, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, all them dispels. You feel them dispels going down? You can't handle my dispels. Tomb of Intelligence, definitely going on Kale. Why? Because Kale's our hero. He's a Blood Elf. It's called Rise of the Blood Elves, not Rise of the Naga. <laughs> uh, we could have called it Rise of the Highborn and been correct in both cases, but no. Think about it. It's Rise of the Highborn, guys. The Highborn from way back when. I'm just saying. Maybe they didn't know their lore. For those of you who don't know, Naga and the High Elves share a common ancestry. They're the Highborn from Old Night Elf Society. Yeah, good times. They're all best friends. They're all best friends. Okay. And more rebellious orcs way out on the edge of nowhere here. I... It... What? There's so much up north. I can't imagine what else I'm missing. Oh, but there's a way gate. Okay. There's a way gate. Such a big side quest thingy. Oh, maybe it's not a side quest. Maybe if I'd gone over here... Yeah, look. There's nothing. Okay, so I have to follow this route all the way and around through the way gate. Ah! Don't try to pull me into your way gates. What the fuck are you doing? Get... What are you guys doing going into the way gate? You know it's dangerous. Is this computer player about to play hijinksies with me, trying to play pull, pull the Josh to the way gate? That ain't how it works, brother. That ain't, we, look, if you're gonna have towers right outside to get the portal, then I'm just gonna send in my tanky guys first, and they'll take all the power, and then I'll send my whole army in, and your whole stupid plan about being in a defensive position with me piling in goes to crap because I'm awesome. Do you hear that? I'm pure, unadulterated awesome. Zap, zap, electricity, zap. Take that tower down! I demand it now, before it kills our swordsman! No, it killed our swordsman! It has killed the swordsman! Well, that's what's bad news. I do like that... It appears the only spell that they won't switch over to units are, are spells like Frenzy, where it's not really clear if it's an advantage or a disadvantage. Oh, look, I have another swordsman. I like to keep blood elf units hidden around the map just so that I can surprise myself and be like oh, a gift for me oh no you did it on to then the frame rate died and then I got it back and then I was like oh yeah they're going to love seeing this when I got it back do you see that oh no the Murgle Reaver's gonna be taking damage hopefully we can get him out of this dangerous city before he's finally killed for being different they only shot him because he's a murloc you know it's true you know it's true don't pretend that racism doesn't exist in as throughout the world of course it does it's half the story like it's like i don't like them because they're not like me well i don't like them because they're not like me <sighs> they'd have to get some kind of sh okay so blue i'm now sent to a blue but the blue will leave me there all right the blue will leave me there healing you can come out Oh good, Elidin isn't invulnerable, that's good. Okay, so just a silly dragon rider. Yeah, he does chaos damage, but so do I. Uh, somewhere. Alright, I don't do any chaos damage, but you know, one of these days I'm gonna do chaos damage, and then you'll see. You'll all see! Perhaps I should s turn off some of these auto casts. Uh, some of these units using Seer. Oh, only three bonus damage, huh? For six mana. You guys are gonna have to learn to be better mages. I don't, I don't feel like I can trust you with anything you're all just terrible in combat all right now show me where show me where the red is oh they're not going to show me where the red is or are they no i only see five on the map the next one's a mystery so we're sending in a spell breaker who's feeling particularly frisky what's over there buddy well sure there's a there's a large force of we don't give a fuck just go 
Yes, it's very hard to fight the large force of we don't give a fuck, just go. You'd be surprised. Uh, it, it strikes, that mentality strikes about two hours into a game of Azeroth Wars. For, for veteran players, that is. For, for newer players, it's about 45 minutes in when you realize this game is not what you thought it was. You're like, oh my god, it's not like Azadin's cast. It's, it's a solid two hours long. It's not the hour and a half. I didn't really stretch it out. I often compress it. Ah, and then you're just like, I don't give a fuck, just go. I don't, I don't have time for this. And this map is starting to wind up. It looks like we might be at the end here. Probably one more big fight between demons and me. And then I'll get to go. We'll make sure that we're ready, though. We have our spellcasters with Cyclone ready. Cyclone, the big elder Diabolist. He's going to spawn some units that can tank. Possible piercing damage on at least one of those units. We'll, uh, let's see if we can get the swordsman out of there. We want to save as many. Remember, Blood Elves are a dying race, guys. We can't afford... Throw him up in the air again, please. We don't have time for him. Yeah, look at this. He's, oh, no, he's got a parasite. We have we have priests. We have priests. We don't have to be worried. We have priests. We got it. No. Oh, God, it didn't work. Um, do I need a purge or something? Do I need a specific... Guys, I can't dig it out of you. Oh, no. Our only hope is that our healers can keep them alive long enough for them to survive it. Motion of vulnerability. Let's just run across. Maybe we'll survive. Maybe we'll live. I don't know, but it's worth a shot. Damn you. Oh, Elodin. We're going to pull the same Elodin crap we did last time. This music is really nice. I'm starting to dig it. I'm looking forward to episode two. I can't wait to see what we get. Oh, a lava spawn. Looking overconfident. Are there any orcs back here this time? There is a loyalist orc base, Elodin's orcs. And maybe now we'll get to see Elodin do something. Maybe not. Maybe Elodin will be too busy and it'll be just Kael'thas going on his own, rallying people, fighting undead monstrosities, and being a general badass. But either way. Now, I heard there's some difficult episodes coming up. Some of you spoiler-heavy people decided to play ahead. And now you're just watching this to see me cry my eyes out. Which is perfectly fine. I don't judge you for that. I judge you for that. I really do. I really do. Come on. We're just outside Hellfire Citadel. Lord Elidin, do you need help getting there? And he's me like, nah, I can still walk. No need, Kale. I'm still able to walk myself, turning into an orc is. <laughs> Kale, Lady Vosh, follow me. And it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine.